Hi there, this is Roderick from Toy Masters Video Magazine. We're here at Big Apple Con at the Pennsylvania Hotel, and we're here with Brian Clevenger and Scott Wagner. And you guys are from where? Red Five Comics. Okay, what's Red Five Comics all about? Well, they're a new publisher. Uh, they are based out of Canada. Uh, they are kind of getting into the comic book uh, market on the action, action adventure angle, I suppose. Um, we were one of their first uh, debuts uh, in October, and uh, our book is called Atomic Robo. And uh, what is Atomic Robo? Atomic Brian. Robo is a little bit of country and a little bit of rock and roll. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's not what you told me last no, night. No, I didn't tell you. Well, that. we got a whole lot. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of them. There, there's several different versions. <laughs> Atomic Robo is um, Iron Giant, Rocketeer, and Indiana Jones wrapped all into one and made extra awesome by being a robot. Okay. You got, you got more. <laughs> sure. Uh, well, no, you took my spiel. I did. Uh, well, let's see. He's, uh, he's built in 1923 by Nikola Tesla. Uh, we're kind of going down the action sci-fi pulp route, I guess. Um, and it's kind of planned as a series of uh, miniseries. So the first six-issue miniseries is, uh, we call it the Atomic Poo Poo Platter. It's, uh, it's kind of a sampling of what you can expect from him, I guess. So we jump all over the place. Issue one, we're uh, dealing with a super villain who's working with the Nazis that Robo has to stop. Issue two, we leap forward 60 years to the, the Reno, uh, the Nevada desert outside of Reno, where he has to uh, stomp on some 50-foot-tall radioactive ants. Um, issue three, we've got a steam-powered pyramid tank uh, crewed by Clock work mummies. Uh, five and six, he's dealing with uh, steampunk uh, zombie cyborgs. Uh, of course, you got to have a, a brain in the jar with a giant robot body villain also. And uh, <laughs> While issue four has no super villains whatsoever, it does have Carl Sagan and Steve Hawking in it. So, yeah, a little bit of everything, pretty much. <laughs> and uh, does... Right, does... Uh Atomic Robo, does he change it at all during the course of the centuries or years? Well, externally he looks the same because he likes the way he looks, so why should he change? But, you know, they, you upgrade his internal stuff, he gets like uh, internal radio eventually, stuff like that. Uh, but mostly he's just the same little guy. Okay. The only thing you say he does is change his clothes. He does change clothes. I mean, he's got to stay fashionable. Wow. <laughs> Gee, 1970s with bell bottoms. Oh, yeah. Wow. We, we got him in bell bottoms and a big wide lapel shirt. Oh, yeah. Uh, issue 4, yeah. Big medallion <laughs> in issue 4, it's 1975. Uh, does he upgrade also in, in the 80s and 90s to uh, Apple? <laughs> We're not allowed to discuss we, his yeah. OS, really. He's we, a, we can't talk about that sort of thing. Licensing <laughs> agreements, <laughs> lawyers get involved. <laughs> and you got a little mock-up of uh, Robo here? We do. A friend of mine uh, made this for me. I'm going to guess it's my Christmas present. Oh, okay. Uh, get rid of the no-touchy sign. All right. <laughs> and here he is. Oh, in his full three-dimensional glory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, would you like to see this actually be done up as an action figure? Hell yes, we would. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got a hell yeah. Need you ask? <laughs> we like money. <laughs> what else would you like to see happen with your character? Video games, a movie, what? Yeah, the whole nine yards. Um, I mean, we didn't start working on it with that as an end goal by any means. I mean, the end goal for us is really just keep making the comic book because it's a lot of fun to work on. But uh, it would be great to see action figures, uh, maybe a CGI movie. If anyone's a Pixar is watching this, Brad Bird, you want to direct something awesome? We got a Tom Robo. Uh, yeah, video games, all that stuff would be great. Uh, but really, they're kind of a, a, a means to an end to let us keep doing the comic books that we really love. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks. For this brief interview, Bryant and Scott. Scott. <laughs> this is the real Scott here. There's another guy over here with the name, same name. But we're not going to show him because he's not Scott. Good. <laughs> hey, and he's happy too. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Thank you.